not a lot of people in Colombia have played college golf. Golf isn't really that big in Colombia. We don't really have much access to it. Fue algo eh, sorprendente. No, no sabíamos de su, del don que tenía ella y, y fue por casualidad que, que empezó a jugar golf. My brother and my mom would walk over to get groceries or whatever. And on the way home, there's like this golf course. They bought my brother some plastic golf clubs and they would just hang out on a golf course without having any sort of idea about the sport. ¿Qué palo debería darle en un momento dado? Eh, ¿Cómo hacer la aproximación, el approach, los, los bots? No sabía absolutamente nada. He started playing with his buddy and that's kind of got me into it. I started playing with them a few times and my brother gives himself credit for it. College golf was a goal pretty early on. The place where I practiced that had a group of girls. I was the youngest of six or seven. It's just fun to be with my friends, to be out. It was something I've never done before. Yo tenía que ir a a sacarla del 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 de las clases. Ella se quedaba en el potting green hasta muy tarde, hasta que apagaban las luces y hey nena, vámonos porque ya van a cerrar. Y, y tenía que llevármela cuando apagaban las luces del, del campo de práctica. I remember the very first tournament I played at. I did kind of good and I was like, I don't know, I can take this somewhere. Empezó el primer torneo eh, y ella gana el tercer lugar, si no estoy mal, y un trofeo hermosísimo y me sorprendió. After I realized that, okay, I want to do this, then you kind of start working for that and you start getting better for that. Valerie was a really good player here in South America, won a lot of South American championships, um, a lot of the national tournaments here, uh, but she didn't have that much exposure in the U.S. We don't have the, those local tournaments like the American girls do, so we pretty much have to go and play good on the big events and hope for the best. All honesty, I didn't reach out to a lot of people because I didn't know that's what I was supposed to do. I thought I was good and that I would have like lots of places to choose from and it wasn't like that and I was getting close to graduating and there was nothing that I really liked or that stood out to me. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, like this is what I've wanted for so long and it's just not happening. What am I supposed to do now? My friend Maria Uribe, she won the U.S. Amateur in 2007. She's still playing on the LPGA Tour. She's pretty legit. She really helped me out. She's like, look, I didn't want to like butt into the whole thing, but she basically told me that things didn't work the way I thought it, they did. I went to UCLA when I was 17. This is what happened to me. I contacted them, and that's the school I ended up going. It was my dream school. Like, let's just right to people like the worst door is the one you don't knock at she kind of sat me down and she was like here's what you need to do so you kind of like build your resume just kind of start reaching out to people it's a little late but we'll get you somewhere somehow and if it's not now maybe in six months or whatever sabía de 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 sus condiciones de su calidad de juego y y sabía que iba a llegar la oportunidad en el momento que que estaba a lot of South Americans go to Doral. That's like one of the big tournaments they play. So Doral is just a very large venue that all the coaches and the players know is kind of a conglomeration of internationals. And it's really their chance to come over here and have exposure to the college coaches. Two or three weeks before the Doral in 2017, my assistant coach Caroline, she sent an email over. I didn't know they were watching me or anything like that. I met Coach Stacy in that tournament. She's like, we're just wondering where you're at in your process. We would love to kind of introduce you to Michigan State. And I was like, this just checks every box that I was thinking of. She came up to Michigan State for a visit about a week and a half later. I still couldn't tell you a reason back then why, but it just felt right. Al terminar la visita, le dije a Valerie y a Stacy que íbamos a conversar en familia con la mamá y con ella en casa, pero Valerie muy inteligente y muy acertada eh, me dijo no papá qué te pasa eh, esto es lo que yo quiero y, y yo me voy a quedar aquí. 
And then the Kellogg Center hallway, she committed before she left. I've always admired the MSU coach. I've seen people really grow in that program. I think timing is everything, and she was destined to go there. Twenty nineteen was the year Augusta had their first edition of the women's amateur tournament. After watching the end of it, I was here in the putting room. I was sitting right there in that hill. And I just sat there, you know, looking through social media and looking through what all these girls got to do. And I remember calling my coach from home. I'm like, I want to play. You either have to win the U.S. Amateur or the British Amateur or be like amongst the 31st ranked Americans or international players. In my heart, I thought, there's no way this kid is not getting invited after what she just did in November and December. She was ranked 39th in the world and had just won the Latin American Amateur, had just won the Patriot. I would just go on the website of the ranking, just refresh it like all the time and see when it would come out. And then I got an email with the tracking number from like Augusta National. And I was like, okay, this is it. Like it's a real thing, but still I don't really want to get my hopes up until I really have it in my hands. And then I opened it here and it was just great. I was like, okay, now I can get excited. Valerie Plata. Just walked off the course, early thoughts? What do you think? Um, I think it's a, it's a pretty challenging golf course. I don't know how to put it into words, really, if you think of it. I never thought that was even going to be possible as a woman. But it's crazy to think about how far the game has come and how far I've come as an individual. As a golfer, since I was a little kid, you dream of being able to play there, being able to see it. When you walk down 11 and you see Amen Corner, like that really is a dream come true and you get to share in that with someone that you care so much for. It's just very special. It's been a, a very long but fruitful journey, I would call it that, and I think I've come really, really far. Obviously her golf game just continues to get better. She's a leader of the team, but more on the quiet side, showing by example what needs to be done to become the best. Está haciendo quedar muy en alto eh, el deporte de nuestro país y eso nos llena de mucho orgullo. Ya en Colombia no me conocen como el doctor Reinaldo Plata, sino como el papá de Valerie. Entonces, eh, eso es muy bueno y me llenan de orgullo. I think my journey has taught me that hard work and perseverance and resilience, is, it just pays off. Even if it's not right away or even if it's not at the time you want it to be, it's always at the time that it's meant to be. Life is just has fun ways to work itself to put you in the places you're meant to be when you're meant to be there. <laughs>